fighting in the front lines today thanks to uh, their skills, thanks to uh, their force. We are able to be here in this wonderful room and to see uh, the photos made by our photo reporters. All of us since February 24 are living Mm. And our life is divided into two parts, before and after February 24. So each of us is uh, fighting, some of us on the battlefield, uh, some of us informationally, some as territorial defense, uh, some as civilians. But all of us are bringing this victory over fascism uh, closer. And... Uh, Ukrainian form just as 100 years ago is uh, fighting on the informational battlefield. So I would like to uh, demonstrate here um, uh, an issue of uh, Ukrainian culture magazine um, of 2015. So here Ukrainian form uh, was hosting Lina Kostanka, the a famous Ukrainian writer, and we were organizing sending of literature to the Eastern Front. Lina was assigning the books for the Ukrainian Warriors of Light, and this is exactly the name of our today's exhibition. Here you will see uh, the best uh, photos made by Ukrainian form and army in form. You will hear more about this from my colleagues, and I would like to welcome you once again in this room and to inform that uh, this uh, exhibition will be available for more than a month, and for uh, the first week or two it will be here in our room number one press center. Later it will be... Uh, displayed in the windows uh, of our building, so everyone passing by will see the photos. And I wish all of us victory as fast as possible. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Thank you. And now let's welcome Vitaly Saranso. We know that uh, there will be 40 uh, pictures uh, from the front, front lines. How did you make the selection of these works? Dear friends and dear colleagues, as it uh, has been mentioned, uh, this work has been going on since 2014, since uh, the very beginning of the Russo-Ukrainian war. Our colleagues are up there at the front lines every day. They are filming, they are documenting every minute of this war. I have read uh, a long time ago that a photo is the art of a moment. And indeed, uh, this is true. Behind every photo there is an entire world. Behind every person in these photos there is a story, there is a person's life. And it's a pleasure that we are launching uh, this exhibition here at Ukraine Forum. Our colleagues uh, have contacted us with this proposal to uh, provide uh, some pictures so you can see some works uh, from our colleagues from the information agency and also from the press officers of the brigade. So uh, the selection and it is a very difficult process. Uh, there are thousands of them and to select the ones depicting uh, those moments best. It's indeed a complex task. A little spoiler here in uh, the photo album that will be published later. The number of uh, pictures will be much bigger, but right now I would like to express gratitude to uh, the organizers, to the Ukraine Forum for our ability to join this uh, beautiful and necessary project. We journalists are fighting with our word, with our pictures, that each of them is indeed a weapon against uh, the enemy. And 
I hope that oh, we can also win the parts of our people who are supporting our army and waiting for our victory. So uh, right now let us hear, Mr. Stepan, how you have uh, joined this process and is there any codification of this manner? Is it going to, use, to be used in the future? Glory to Ukraine, glory to you. Uh, uh, thank you, Ukraine Forum. Uh, the All Ukrainian Memorial Organization, named after Vasil Stus, a human rights organization, working together with uh, Matei uh, and uh, organization Law of Ukraine. Over 30 years of a joint activity have uh, made a photo uh, a record a recording of Ukrainian reality, uh, indeed depicting the history of uh, our nation. Uh, for hundreds of years, we have shown uh, the uh, renaissance of the Ukrainian uh, a nation, and uh, it's in fact 130 anniversary of uh, this um, renaissance. So it's a combination of dignity, of truth, and uh, the roots of our ancestors, as well as responsibility for our future. So each photo you can see today is a part of that. It brings in the energy of uh, truth and the unbreakability of our nation. You're probably aware that 30 years ago we in Memorial uh, have uh, shared the historical uh, truth of uh, the uh, uh, civil war, of the numerous uprisings uh, that existed against Russians and for our identity. There are many trials uh, before us, and I wish the uh, restoration of Ukraine's uh, integrity in full. But no matter what, our nation will prevail, as Semenenko, the famous writer, has once mentioned. Today we have commemorated with a minute of silence of those who have given the, their lives. And the most valuable uh, thing that we can give back is our memory. So over the thousand years of uh, Ukraine's nation, we have been fighting against uh, the Moscovites who have tried to subjugate us, but at this time, they have met a proper response. Every volunteer, every person who is uh, contributing to this fight is uh, a building uh, together for the continuity for our future generations. Uh, therefore, we are uh, here presenting uh, this uh, exhibition on the Remembrance Day, uh, the Day of Remembrance of uh, those who have died for uh, the independence of our country. Uh, there was a green corridor uh, 2013 through the fields and uh, sunflowers, the place where hundreds of Ukrainians died. Uh, sunflower is uh, the symbol of eternity, of our identity for the future generations. Uh, today is a day of all the heroes uh, who died for our country. So we are mentioning other names in prayers daily, uh, those who are given uh, their most precious thing, their life on the battlefields fighting for our country. On this remembrance day, through all these tears, blood, and anger, we are uh, thinking about those killed and uh, tortured uh, by the enemy. Uh, still, we have to believe, we have to work daily with this uh, faith that we will be as strong and stronger than we are today. So. Together with uh, our 
colleagues from Memorial, I would like to uh, present to Ukraine form uh, the book, The Ideologist of Our Modernity, Liv Kolokyanenko. This is uh, the book National Idea and uh, National Will. And uh, also the uh, dossiers uh, of uh, uh, Ukraine of uh, uh, the Cheka of the Soviet Union. So this is a truth from the archives. In 2010-2011, we were persecuted uh, as an organization for sharing this truth. We were excluded from the registry, but our spirit is unbreakable. And I believe that uh, these books that will be available in Ukraine form, based on historical truths from the archive, uh, will be unveiling the truth. So, 167 books that uh, I have mentioned. This is something for which uh, I would like to express uh, uh, gratitude to our partners uh, because this photo exhibition we are doing together uh, is a way to share it. Also, I uh, would like to uh, share uh, the long list of uh, families who have uh, contributed, and these are their names. So these are the people who, over the time of uh, 25 years, were uh, participants of our project. And it's not the first project that we are presenting here with the current form. It's already the fifth project. Glory to Ukraine and glory to every one of you. Glory to the heroes. Alexander, now. Let us hear about the idea and what exactly you wanted to share here. Dear Ukrainians, it's 187 uh, days since uh, the beginning of uh, the full-scale, unprovoked and uh, atrocious uh, war. And this terrible war was started by the Kremlin's bloodthirsty dictator, Putin, who is the author, organizer, and implementer uh, of uh, this nightmare. His main task is uh, the liquidation of Ukrainian statehood, liquidation of uh, Ukrainians, uh, their language, uh, their uh, culture, and in essence, the liquidation of Ukrainian civilization. I would like to uh, recall the prophetic uh, poem by Lina Kostenko, written back then in 2015, which makes a lot of sense in the current uh, situation. The atrocity and terror and uh, blood and the enemy hordes, the little gray man has caused a lot of uh, evil. Why are you looking, a big nation? Today it's us and uh, tomorrow it's you. So uh, I would like to depart from the event that's happening today and point out the fact that this desire to destroy Ukraine and everything that's Ukrainian is here for over 300 years. All the Russian regimes intended to do that. And 
in the time, times of uh, Moscow Kingdom and then the Russian Empire and then in the times of Bolsheviks and uh, the Soviet Union and uh, finally uh, right now in the times of uh, the Russian Federation till this day. So why do they have this hatred? What is the reason, you might ask, why Russia, why Moscow hates Ukrainians so much? I'm not a historian, I'm a lawyer, but uh, I was indeed interested in the issues of statehood, so it's no coincidence that we are uh, celebrating the day of Ukrainian statehood. So when Stepan Kubil was the prime uh, minister, we initiated uh, this uh, uh, fundamental uh, research. And uh, finally, President Zelensky has uh, listened to us and uh, Right now, this day was introduced as uh, a holiday. Uh, so we are celebra uh, We have celebrated the first anniversary of this holiday uh, this year. So, what is the reason of the Russians' uh, hatred? The reason is uh, the historical truth that the Ukrainians uh, hold. Uh, and uh, uh, basically in uh, the 18th century, uh, Peter the Great has uh, signed a decree according to which uh, the uh, Moscow Kingdom has uh, changed its uh, name. The Moscovites became the Russians and the official name Moscovia was substituted with another name. The name is um, Russia. So uh, this uh, became the name for um, the, the, the name was borrowed from the powerful state that existed here before the Kievan Rus and we Ukrainians are the only heirs of this great nation. And the thing that Muscovites did, uh, they have basically appropriated, they have stolen uh, these things from us. And the uh, Muscovite king did this was support of Ukrainian collaborators to use uh, the modern day uh, language. I will not um, say there are names here, but one was from Kiev, another from Galicia. Uh, they got uh, high uh, offices, the head of Kiev Mikhila Academy and the head of the Synod of the Orthodox Church. Just like now in the occupied territories, uh, many people are betraying our nation to get high offices. So you can see that uh, there is uh, quite a clear background, quite a clear message here. And uh, today we would like to offer to our president and to our nation uh, something in which uh, you probably will take in part uh, as well. Uh, you will be voting for the fact that this has happened. The Ukrainian history has been stolen. The Ukrainian church, the Ukrainian national heroes, Ukrainian men of culture, of uh, stake, statehood. Also, there was a policy of uh, Russification that's still going on with the intention of uh, separating the nation from the inside and blurring its borders, uh, thus um, uh, making sure that Ukrainians cease to exist. Many different attempts uh, have been made over the centuries, but we 
always uh, sprung back to life. Uh, therefore, of course, uh, the more appropriate name would be not the Independence Day, but the Day of Restoring Independence. So it's uh, not uh, the topic of today, but uh, I'm still drawing your attention to this because the historical mission for us Ukrainians is to destroy this empire of uh, the evil. We have to do this and uh, I believe we will do it. It's a moment of truth. We are paying a high price for this victory and surely today looking at our wins and uh, also our setbacks in this war. We also wanted to contribute to this victory somehow, so this is how we got this idea of uh, documenting the events, of joining our forces together, and I'm glad that Army Inform is uh, joining us, whom we met recently, and also Ukraine Forum, our long-standing partner, and also uh, also Ukraine, the famous Ukrainian newspaper, and uh, also Memorial, headed by Stepan Kubev. So uh, we have uh, uh, found uh, this way to uh, express uh, this, and um, I actually um, would encourage not to wait till the day of uh, publishing um, our uh, our album. So we started with this photo exhibition. It's the first one that we are uh, presenting here. The name is The Warriors of Light. The name comes from a poem by Lina Kostenko, uh, for the first time read here in 2015. And uh, there will be other exhibitions as well. We are getting ready for uh, the next one already. Uh, it will be uh, commemorating the National uh, Defenders Day on the 14th of October. We are still looking for the best name. Maybe this is our land or uh, the moments of war. There are other ideas as well. So we will announce it later and we will be indeed commemorating our warriors with this work. Because uh, right now they are fighting for uh, the today and for the tomorrow, paying with their own lights for this. Here we can see, uh, for instance, uh, the photo of uh, Vasily Slipak, who is not with us anymore, but he is there on the photos, a well-known singer, by the way. And here is a volunteer from Kiev who has been buried recently. Mr. Ratoshny, you can see his photo here as well. So they are looking at us from the photos with a face that we will continue fighting for this uh, independence, something that uh, was uh, Ukrainians' aim for hundreds of years, this freedom, this independence. And today, I believe we will be able to defend our freedom and independence. So let us always have uh, this great flag of uh, freedom, uh, the flag of our defenders, warriors of light. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Thank you so much. Are there any questions, dear journalists? If yes, our participants are ready to answer. 
I'm from Ukraine Forum. I have a question to the representative of Army Forum. You have mentioned uh, the plans to publish a photo album. Can you share more about what exactly is going to be shared in the album? Uh, what will be the number of copies, number of photos? Yes, we are wait, uh, working on this on a regular basis. Each year we are uh, publishing uh, an album, uh, sometimes united with uh, some subject, sometimes not. This year we are working together with uh, Alexander. And so uh, this selection of photos done by uh, Alexander and Mr. Kubik, they are publishing and we are uh, providing the photos. We also have some projects of our own. Uh, some of them have been uh, published this year, so we are working on uh, the next uh, publications as well. All of these photos are coming up from our photo reporters and the press officers of the uh, brigades uh, who are there at the front lines and even my colleagues who are in this room right now in a couple of days uh, they will uh, travel back to uh, the front lines so uh, most probably in the future uh, exhibitions uh, there will be some photos that uh, they make we have uh, considerable uh, experience uh, in uh, creating uh, this uh, story line of a Ukrainian nation in total. We had over 18,000 pictures in this uh, documentary. We uh, were also documenting the Orange Revolution the revolution of dignity and uh, right now with all that uh, database of uh, historical pictures we intend to make up a unique album but also there is a book ukrainian statehood that uh, was in the preparation for uh, 17 years right now it is uh, being translated uh, into English and uh, digitized. Actually, it, it has been already uh, translated into English, and uh, this is what we intend to do with our other publications as well, because the Ukrainian nation is a nation of truth and freedom. Thank you. So, uh, this is uh, our um, popular science publication uh, it's uh, about the ukrainian statehood but uh, also uh, we have a, a photo book which uh, you have seen as well so we have updated our publications and uh, i'm glad uh, that uh, when i uh, was uh, uh, coming here for my uh, doctor studies, uh, my uh, professor uh, requested uh, that uh, I remember the Ukrainian statehood all the time. These were the times of the Soviet uh, power, and he shared the stories with us unofficially, but I couldn't even believe that I will be partaken in such research as a lawyer and this is something that we have uh, completed so as a, this is something a copy of which we would like to give to our photo reporters we have uh, the four copies of this book please give us the names so here we have the works by Irina Rebakova, also our reporter uh, Aksana Ivanets, uh, Lilia Kuzminova, and also Titiana, whose last name I uh, unfortunately don't remember. So these are the members of uh, this project who are getting this gift, uh, commemorating 
uh, their outstanding work and displaying the truth in these uh, powerful photos. So uh, please share these gifts with your photo reporters and we will also have some financial rewards for them. And also we have a gift for uh, the reporters of Ukraine Forum, two of them. Give us the names, please. Uh, this is our Kharkiv reporter, Mr. Madievsky, and also our reporter in the Parisia region. What's his name? Petro Smolyanka. Oh, Dmitro, actually. So uh, these are uh, the two gifts for them, and also we, we've got some financial awards for them as well. Thank you so much. Uh, this is uh, uh, the great fortune that we have such uh, people writing down history. I wish you successful work. Let us have more albums in the future. Let them have uh, the photos not only of difficult times, but the photos after our victory. We have no doubts about that, absolutely. Can you imagine? If we have five out of ten people with doubts, we will not get the results. But we have no doubts. We will prevail. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. And also, here, we... Actually, it's, it's time for us to finish. So. Let us finish uh, the stream, and uh, in the meantime, you will have uh, the time to speak with the audience and select the best works. Thank you.